This is Pet Life Radio. Let's talk pets. Cat lovers and feline friends, it's time for Adele Park's Quirky Catnips. Does your cat have a pettish? By this I mean, does your cat have some quirky response when you try to pet them? My kitty, Allison, is affectionate by nature, but you'd never know it if you tried to get in a friendly stroke. Allison revs up the old purr box, lifts her tail to the heavens like a furry form of Jack and the Beanstalk, then promptly prances away as soon as I swoop in for a pet. As a result, I wind up tailing Allison around the house like a love-starved stalker. My cousin Brenna recently visited and was of course treated to Allison's catch-me-if-you-can petting ritual. Feeling slightly ashamed my cat wouldn't honor Brenna's gestures of affection, I explained Allison's puss in boots were made for walking. To my extreme relief, Brenna said Buttercup, a cat she had for more than 20 years, did the same thing. I was so relieved to know this problem wasn't unique to me, I almost heaved a hairball. I began referring to this petting behavior as buttercupping. This got me wondering, is buttercupping a normal thing? Yes, but only because cats aren't normal by nature. But more importantly, is there anything you can do about this? Uh, no. You got a cat. What did you think would happen? If you're like me, you're so smitten you end up following your cat around like a needy dog anyway. Then there's cats like Celeste, the feline who owns my sister Peggy. Celeste, also known as Damn It Get Down, is a sweet kitty, lovingly treating my sister to pets and purrs, until she doesn't. For whatever reason, Celeste, I mean Damn It Get Down, has a tendency to turn on my sister and strike like a snake halfway through a mutually satisfying petting session. A quick internet search reveals my sister isn't alone in this biting-the-hand-that-feeds-you behavior. Cat experts say this is a not-so-gentle way of letting humans know when they've had enough. A second theory is that repetitive stroking can create little shocks which can be annoying or even painful to your cat. If love bites in your household, or if your cat likes to play follow the leader when you pet them, no worries. This is all totally typical. All you can do is enjoy the journey following your feline around with your pathetic, pet-impoverished hand sticking out, hoping to touch a snatch of fur. In case you haven't noticed, you've been ghosted. This is especially bad news if you're a ghost trapped at the Department of Motor Vehicles and the only way out is through the help of a snarky cat. Find out what happens next in Quirky Cat Gets Ghosted by Adele Park. This quirky audiobook is the cat's meow. Get Quirky Cat Gets Ghosted today on audible.com. Let's Talk Pets, every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com.